Welcome to Treadmill Review Guru. Today we're going to be looking at the Nordic Track 2450. This is one of Nordic Track's top selling machines. It has a really sturdy frame, folds up when not in use, a nice comfortable running surface, and some really innovative tech. First, we're going to look at the overall construction. So this is a really solidly built machine. It sits nice and sturdy on the floor, doesn't move when you're on it, but it folds up when not in use. So the full footprint is it's 81 inches long, 39 inches wide, and 70 inches high to the highest point. So that's your open footprint. If you come down here to the base of the deck, you've got a nice solid bar. You can lift that up. It will lock into position, folded like this, still the 39 inches wide, but here you're only 42 inches long and it lifts to about 72 inches high. So that's your folded footprint. To unfold it, just hang on to this bar, press the foot release, and the deck will drop down nice and easy. It has a hydraulic assist in it, so it will rest gently on the floor, doesn't come down with a thud, and you don't have to lift it down using your body weight. So we'll just let it drop. You can hear nice and soft. The 2450 has a really good warranty. It comes with a 10 year warranty on the frame, two years for parts and one year for labor. Another cool feature about this is you've got runner's flex cushioning in the deck. So it will provide some cushioning underfoot. You also have the option to turn it off or on using this bar here on the side. When it's on, you've got more flex in the deck. When it's off, a uh, bar under the deck braces it so you have a little less impact. So it's more realistic simulates outdoor surfaces if you want to train for an outdoor event. So that's really nice to have the runner's flex cushioning in the deck. Up here you got a nice um, wide running platform. It is 22 inches wide by 60 inches long. So you've got lots of foot space, lots of deck area to move both laterally and forward and back. Our uprights are powder coated steel and they hold the console up here. Your handlebars are 16 inches in length and you have a 32 inch span from side to side. So nice wide distance right there. The console is a 14 inch touchscreen console and it will showcase all of our iFit programs. And you have EKG grips right here in the front horizontal handlebar. So lots of really cool functional features. The uh, 2450 has a 300 pound user weight, so it will support up to 300 pounds. The deck inclines to a 15% grade, declines to a 3% grade, and will go up to 12 miles an hour. So you've got good speed, good incline and decline, and it's all automated in iFit, which we'll kind of show you in a minute. So this is all made possible by a four horsepower motor. It's a self-cooling motor. This particular machine is rated for heavy use. It's excellent for runners, um, households that may have more than one user. It's very durable and um, that machine works really smoothly to incline, decline the deck, moderate your speed, all while you're running, so it's smooth and even, and um, there's no lags. At no point do you have to wait for the machine to catch up. So really solid construction here on the 2450. We're gonna look at the design of the 2450 console. So this has a 14 inch touch screen. I really love this screen. It's just big enough that you can see everything, but not so large that it eliminates your one touch control options on the side. So the 14 inch screen is really ideal. You can navigate all of your functionality, almost all of it through the touch screen, which is really nice. So I just choose a program uh, and bring it up, start workout, so I'm just gonna kinda let it, let it go. It starts nice and easy, it'll give you a little warm up. And then I have controls here on the lower panel. I have small manual controls where I can adjust incline by 0.5. And I have speed controls where I can control the speed by 0.1. So it gives me smaller 
intermediate increments. Up here, you have full level controls. So if I want to take it from a one to a two, I've got touch screen options up here or one touch controls here along the side, and that will raise me by one level for each one. So the screen pivots and tilts. So you can see, you can press it down at the bottom or up at the top. It reduces overhead glare and it also works for the height of the user. But right down here, I've got the option of controlling volume. We've got three volume controls. I can control music, I can control the trainer, or I can control the overall volume, which is really nice if you don't want the music, you just want to listen to the trainer, you have that option. So I've also got a fan in the console. So this fan is a good height. You've got dual fans in there. They blow just kind of chest height. You've got, you actually have four control options. You've got low and then medium and high. And then if I hit it four times, it's going to be an auto mode where it adjusts to how the difficulty of the program. So because I'm not doing anything right now, when I hit auto, it's gonna drop it back down simply because I'm not doing anything. But that fan is super nice right here in the console. And you can hear about how loud it is. It's not loud at all. So that's what we get on high. So one of the most commonly asked questions that we get about almost all of our exercise equipment is does it have a fan? Because it really makes a difference when it's right here and you can control it right on the console. So one, one touch controls for incliner on the left, speed or on the right. You've got smaller manual controls down here, uh, volume, fan, and a start stop button. You've also got your EKG grips right here on the horizontal bar, but it's really nice to just hold on to these while you're walking. You also have a nice thick shelf right here. So I've got my phone here. I can set my phone up on the shelf. It might block the screen slightly, but it doesn't block it enough that it's an issue. You also have storage pockets on either side, which will easily hold a phone or a water bottle. And you've also got this nice suspended storage tray that spans the uprights here at the front with four large pockets and then one shallow. So it really gives you lots of storage options. You can set keys, phone, tablet, things your kid hands you while you're working out, whatever you need. And then once again, the functionality of the console, let's go to manual start and I'll just kind of show you your options. So if I don't want to run an iFit program, but instead I just want to do my own thing, it brings up this manual start button, which gives you a fourth of a mile track. And once again, you can control the incline, you can control calorie, or you can look at calories, time elapsed, distance, and speed. There's also different readouts. If I want vertical gain, if I want vertical loss, this will give me calories burned or estimated calories per hour. Distance is right here, and then speed I can adjust to current speed or average speed per hour. And once again, all these controls, if I want to incline, I can touch it here, or I can do smaller increments down below. So the functionality has really been streamlined on the 2450. You can really easily navigate anything that you need to. Speakers down here along the bottom will project the iFit workout right back at you. You've also got Bluetooth functionality, so I can, if I want to, in an iFit program, I can turn the trainer volume up, I can turn the music volume down, and I can sync my music to play through the speakers with Bluetooth audio-enabled functionality here. You also have an aux-in cord uh, port if you need that. And um, one thing I do like about these is the slightly textured handlebars right here. Even when I'm sweaty and dripping and all over the place, these are really provide a good grip. They don't get slick. So when I'm walking, I feel very stable right here uh, in front of the console. The other thing that I like is the way that the uprights are angled back gently pulls the console more towards you so that when I'm walking, I don't tend to hit the, the front hood that covers that motor. Uh, with my foot. Sometimes grazing the hood with the sole of your foot can be a bit of an issue. So anyway, lots of cool features on the console of the 2450. Let's look at the overall functionality of the 2450. We're going to look at what it does, how it sounds when in use, how quickly the deck inclines and declines. 
So your step up height right here is about 10 inches. So not bad, a little less than a foot. It's an easy step just straight onto that deck. It will automatically reset to a flat grade. Anytime you turn the machine on or off, it will reset to a flat grade. Um, it does drop down to a negative 3%. So let me show you that real quick. So you can hear that motor noise. It's not too bad. Really smooth as it declines, just kind of drops that front end a little bit. Um, it will drop down low, so make sure that you don't have toys, any junk, pets under your treadmill before you start it. So let's go back up to level. You can kind of hear, there's not too much motor, motor noise, it's very smooth. Um, at no point do I feel unstable when the deck is moving up or down. So that's it. That's just how long it takes to get back up to that level. So I'm gonna take us all the way up to that 15% grade. I want you to listen to the noise, watch the movement. It's gonna take us just a minute, about a minute. I timed it. I think it's just right around 60 seconds to get all the way to the top. Um, when it does incline, the top of this deck reaches 17 inches in height. So always check for ceiling clearance. Make sure you've got enough room overhead. Um, if you're looking at putting it in a small garage or a basement with a low ceiling, you might want to measure first, make sure you got enough um, head clearance above the top of the machine. So as you can see, the deck inclines very smoothly and gradually. All right, so even uh, just walking, this is how high it is. So this is your overhead height. Again, the top right here is about 17 inches off the ground. So really not bad. Um, I feel very stable regardless of speed or incline. I feel like the motor is smooth as it runs and it doesn't make too much noise. One nice thing about iFit is your speed and incline are automated in the program. So anytime you're watching a program, viewing an iFit workout, you don't have to worry about manually adjusting the speed and incline, it will do it for you. So that makes it really easy. And then anytime you're done with a program, just like right now, it will drop back down to that flat 0% grade. So it really gives you a lot of training variables. You can mix and match speeds, you can mix and match incline and decline so that you never get bored and you never hit a plateau in your training. It's really good for walkers because even if you're inclined, you can stay aerobic uh, and low impact at the same time, working hard, breathing hard, but you can walk at that 15% grade and it will shoot your heart rate right up there. So lots of really cool training options on the 2450. So in the next little bit, I'm just gonna run and walk. I'm gonna incline and decline and I'm gonna adjust the speed so you can watch that deck move and you can hear the sound. I always wanna know how something sounds when somebody's using it. So I'll just run for a little bit and you can kind of listen and watch to some of the differences as it's in use. So this is a 0% incline, 1% speed. I'm gonna take it up to a 3% speed just walking, or three miles an hour. I'm gonna take it up to a six incline. Okay, I'm gonna take that speed up to five miles an hour running on an incline. I'm gonna take it to six miles an hour. Dropping it back to three. I'm gonna that, take that deck all the way up to 15, still walking at three miles an hour. All right, that's 15% incline. I'm gonna try to run at five miles an hour.
three miles an hour. I'm gonna drop it back down. All right, back to a 0% incline. I'm gonna run. This is six miles an hour. Seven. Eight. I'm going to drop it down to 3% decline. Okay, I'm going to run again. Five. Six. Seven. All right, back to zero. So there you've got a general overview of the 2450. It is a really solidly built machine. Uh, you've got cushioning in the deck, nice incline and decline. The motor is strong and smooth as you transition between speeds and inclines. So um, I recommend checking it out. Click the link below to check current pricing and go to treadmillreviewguru.com for a full in-depth written review of the Nordic Track 2450.